When you want that pig, you want that pig. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 4 of season 4 of Supernatural, Metamorphosis. And no word of a lie, this is actually one of my favorite Monster of the Week episodes, simply because there's actually some very decent development for the guy who turns into a monster and you come to care for the character. They don't even start the episode off with him, so he doesn't even have as much time to develop. The episode, in fact, starts with Sam exercising a demon and Dean coming in and seeing it and throwing a hissy fit. And as much as I like the monster of this episode, I actually really don't like how this episode starts because Dean is written like a damn crybaby. Very reminiscent of what Dean turned into at the end of the show being kind of a cartoon, an over-exaggerated baby. I know that the brothers are supposed to be steeped in this whole distrust in this season, and it's going to grow, and it's going to get worse, coming to a point of literally the end of the world being the result. Jensen is definitely trying his best, and Jared's doing his all too in terms of his counters, but the script just for this argument is written for them to bicker for bicker's sake, I feel. Dean could have maybe been a little bit more apprehensive, maybe a little bit more understanding or questioning of the whole situation obviously he's channeling his father's shoot first kill first and then maybe ask some questions later sort of mentality but just how childish he comes across it's just like babies wah, 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 at each other then we get introduced to jack otherwise known as discount edward norton he is a rougarou and we see that he has quite an appetite the brothers go out to this area because there's another hunter out there who's got a broken arm which <laughs> they use that cast pretty well he's after jack because he is the son of a rougarou that he hunted 30 years ago and he's finishing the job that he never started because this was the kid. He didn't think that he would turn into a Rougarou. And this interweaves with the episode's themes of maybe you aren't the monster that you are, maybe you can change, as well as making up for past mistakes. Jack doesn't want to become what he is, but he is being pushed by his primal urges. But we see him try to fight what he is becoming. Even when the brothers come up and tell him, yeah, you're a straight up monster who wants to eat long pig, he's not immediately dismissive. He is trying to understand what is going on while also in denial. It'd be pretty weird to be called a Rougarou. What the hell is a Rougarou anyways? The effects for him are super, super good as he is changing the whole weird back thing. Just weirds me out every time. We see him in his hunger, not only for food, but for sustenance, for cravings for violence, for anger, for power, slowly consume him. And of course it's mirroring what Sam is going through. And eventually he can't deal with Dean's shit. And Dean thankfully gets an earful from Sam. And this is the part that makes up for the garbage writing at the beginning of the episode. I enjoy Sam fully admitting that he knows he's a monster. He knows he's a freak. He knows that what it looks like is terrible, but he's doing the best he can. And he's hoping that his brother would at least acknowledge that and understand that. And funny enough, how I was bringing up themes of hoping that things wouldn't happen even though you know they would, that was in the last episode. That happens in this episode far more for me. When Jack is confronted by the other hunter, tied up, and the guy says, yeah, I found out your wife's pregnant, so I'm gonna burn her too. He breaks out of his holds to save his wife's life, but the hunger finally consumes him. And when he goes to take in that bite, admittedly, I'm always like, ah, no, don't do it, dude. I like you, you're discount Edward Norton. And he eats him and he slowly turns into the Rougarou, but he still has enough consciousness to let his wife go. The makeup on his face and everything is so damn good. It looks like some sort of weird Star Trek monster thing. The brothers come in, they both get knocked out, but Sam tries to talk Jack down. He's able to just kind of get to him long enough that he can get out the door and burn him alive. And then at the very end of the episode, Sam says that I'm done with the power is this is my choice. Obviously we know he's not going to keep to that. Oddly reminds me of aspects of the show later on like Demon Dean being over in three episodes. I know it's not the same thing and I know it's going to come back and it's going to be used properly but it, it, it made me think about that. So in the end while the beginning of the episode is pretty crap I enjoy the fact that they humanize the monster. They make up for the crap ass writing that was the beginning of the episode and the episode ends on kind of a cliff note yet again. That's another cliffhanger kind of ending. Not as 
woo as the last three have been but it still keeps you on your toes it's building which is a really nice thing to see in supernatural now admittedly my rating for this episode is a bit of a conflicted one in my heart i feel like it's a five out of seven but really because of the flaws of the episode i have to give it a four out of seven not to say that this isn't a bad episode if anything this is a quintessential monster of the week episode jack's writing is fantastic it's the writing between dean and sam that is so goddamn childish for the first half of the episode if their story arc was as good as jack's arc i would probably put this up to a five but because of how poorly written it is at the beginning i have to put it here and now i asked you guys for your comments about this episode so let's read those off man the good old days when i felt supernatural was the greatest how i've missed it the episode metamorphosis is one of the best uses of monster of the week in my opinion not only does it carry on from this episode but it actually has weight to it seeing buddy's fall to becoming a rougarou is tragic and sam seeing the parallel in himself season four to me just hits the hardest for sure four bangers in a row how can you not love this season it takes me back to the time when sam using his powers was cool and sam seems to have good points points about it helping people instead of killing the vessels of the demons. Not to mention being on the fence about Ruby as you haven't seen how Sam gets his powers, and other than being a demon she seems pretty helpful thus far. Cheers. And obviously I agree with you on those points, but there were some people who had negative thoughts on the episode. Metamorphosis is a meh attempt at telling that monsters are once humans too in some cases. The whole you can't escape your fate deal, the guy is destined to become the monster he doesn't want to become to put his family in jeopardy but does so anyways. Red flags at Sam's possible destiny. Season 4 is the whole your fate is destined and season 5 is the throw out the rules at the game. Nice to watch the flip flop and dynamic and he's not the only person who has that opinion. After three great episodes, Metamorphos to me always fell flat. I really didn't like the hammy acting, yeah I can agree with that, and the gross monster. Also making the wife pregnant was forced and in the end they abandoned that plot thread. A lack Luster episode to say the least and one of the few bad episodes in season four i wouldn't say it's a bad episode but i can understand where you're coming from metamorphosis is one big giant foreshadowing of sam Winchester to becoming addicted to demon blood in a reasonably in executed way dean saying he'd want to hunt his brother if he didn't know him shows how gordon walker and other hunters look at sam sam putting down jack was a perfect representation of sam's promise the episode has to really hit home for jared and the other suffering depression with something they just can't rip out of their lives and try to make something good out of it the monster of the week episodes are the bread and butter of the this show and they were done really well in this one i can definitely agree with you there finally one more oh god metamorphosis visual wise it's one of the grossest episodes since the one where they introduced the shapeshifters back in season one from the man eating raw beef to him chowing down on the hunter i'm not too sure who plays jack in this episode but he did a fantastic job i can't help but love this episode i definitely agree with that I found it kind of hilarious when Sam says the line, it doesn't matter what you are, it only matters what you do. It'd be used for another character named Jack in season 13. I don't know if that's lazy writing or some weird shout out to the earlier seasons. No, honestly, I don't think Andrew Dev even realized he was copy and pasting. But he's been doing that his whole career, so... Thank you guys for those comments, and now we have Monster Movie. This is gonna be a fun one to review. Make sure to give me your guys' comments about that episode, and I'll read those off in the next review. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.